Hey guys, it's Ground Jill 602 and I'm coming to you guys today with a favorites video and I am like so excited for these favorites this month. I actually really, really have some like new and favorite go-to things this month and I have a lot of products to show so I don't want to be here all day so we'll just get right into the products. The first thing that I'm going to show you, you guys have already probably seen it's the um, Maybelline Baby Lips and mine is uh, the purple one. The one that looks sort of grape. I love this. It's um, it's great. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's like clinical strength um, lip moisturizer. And it was, um, mine was only like $2.50 or something like that at Walmart. If you guys haven't tried the baby lips, it's not your average uh, lip balm or like Carmex. It's definitely different. And it's girly. It's tinted. So there is that. I'm a little late on that bandwagon. The next thing I'm going to show you is a Wet n Wild lipstick that I have been absolutely wild about. Um, of course, the Wet n Wild, uh, it, when you tear it off, it doesn't have the name on it anymore, so I really can't tell you guys what the name is, but the number is 511B. That is a swatch of what it looks like on my hand, and I almost feel like my camera isn't doing it justice. It's a super, super hot pink. And I have it on just a hint of it with my lip gloss today because I have been loving it. I have it though. So anyway, yeah, this Wet n Wild lipstick, it was um, only like 69 cents. Wet n Wild was on sale at Walgreens for like 69 cents a piece. So I picked that up and I'm so in love with it. It's a great buy. It's a beautiful Nicki Minaj pink summer color. So sticking to pinks, um, this nail polish is a Sinful Nails nail polish. And it is like the brightest pink I've ever seen ever. And the name is Pink. And um, I actually just took this off my nails. Have you ever had a nail polish that you put on like you completely didn't want to take it off? Like I just kept looking down at my feet. Um, like it was so cute. Like it was so eye-catching. I got so many compliments on this nail polish. And so um, go into your Walgreens um, and pick this up. Cause, or even any of the colors that you might like in this selection. Or collection, I should say. So I'm going to move on to um, a product that I am new to. It's a CoverGirl Girl, um, a concealer stick, and it's in the color Deep. I do know that. That is a little swatch of it on my hand. You guys probably can't see that because it's really close to my skin tone color. I really, really love this. I got it at my um, grocery store in the cosmetic section and um, it was on clearance for like $2 and I am trying to find the perfect concealer. I thought it looked great. So I picked it up and it, it's like, um, I know that most women want to go for a concealer that's like a shade or two lighter than their skin tone and that's all well and good. I'm all for that as well. But there's some times when I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard um, or just I just want to look normal but concealed and this is the go-to one that I go to for that. Just like a little lipstick and you just swipe it underneath the eyes and blend it as you normally do and it works. So I'm going to move on to um, a new product that is, well, is new to me. Well, it says new on the package too. Is the um, e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. Makeup Remover um, Cleansing Cloth and you get 20 of these and they're of course $3 because they're the black. They're the studio line. And um, it just says gently wipe face with the cloth to remove dirt and makeup and dispose of the cloth afterwards. Um, these are great for three dollars. Like these are the like almost the best that I've ever used as far as a cloth is concerned um, to take my makeup off. Um, nothing's gonna compare to my Sephora makeup remover, but these um, when I just don't feel like you know I just want to lay in the bed and take my makeup off. Like I don't feel like standing at the sink. Like you know, cause I'm lazy. These work absolutely great, um, and I like those too. But these for three dollars can't be beat. I really really love those. If you guys haven't tried these, pick these up because I heard the little eye makeup remover ones suck, but these ones are really really good. So I would try them. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is this L'Oreal True Match Bronze Glow in Medium Bronze. And it's just a liquid, you know, you take it out, you put a little bit on your um, hand. I'm going to swatch it on my hand for you guys. And that is what it looks like, if you guys could see that. And it just gives you like the nicest summer bronze glow like I love 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 this stuff I got in it um, as a highlight like above my cheeks right here 
and even uh, on my cupid's bow and a little bit to brighten up my forehead and on my chin it's just a it gives you a really bronzy you know african goddess sun-kissed skin look and i really really love this stuff if you guys um haven't tried any of the bronze glow um true match you should because they're definitely worth the money the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is something that I just did a review on our product drive because I love so much. It's the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer. And this is um, just, I'm sorry guys for all the rest of my viewers, but this is like pretty much for us dark skin girls. I mean, it might be too dark for anyone that's um, Caucasian, but it has a bit of shimmer in it. You guys can see that. And um, this is wonderful. Um, I don't, you know, if you're African American and you watch my channel, you know how hard it is for us to find a good bronzer, like something that's deep and dark enough. And so I wanted something that was going to give me like a, you know, like maybe sometimes like a drag queenish, you know, um, contour and our bronze look and it, nothing was working, but I found this and I'm completely happy with it. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is two e.l.f. products. This one is just the e.l.f. Uh, Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. And I've been setting my brows because I use a pencil. I can't use brow powders. And, um, you know, you guys know the number one complaint with using a pencil is that it shows up kind of fake and it doesn't look natural. So um, I've never kind of really had that problem. But um, just to help it to look more natural, I go ahead and set my brows after I... Uh, put the pencil on with this clear mascara and it helps them to stay on um, all day no matter how hot it is outside and also this is a new product for me it's the elf zit zapper and it's just a little roller ball and you basically just put it on your blemishes um, at night or throughout the day when you're at home um, to help get rid of it and this works really really well I think the number one ingredient in here is like Cyric acid which is like the number one ingredient in that um, refining mask for the proactive that works really well so that's why I kind of wanted to pick it up and it works really really good it's just a no-nonsense you know just rollerball and go out the, you know go out the door going about your business and it dries clear and everything and so yeah I really like that so I'm going to move on to a couple of brushes that I've really been loving. I, this one is like the dual fiber brush. Um, and I, this is actually kind of, uh, not replaced, but I use this and use my beauty blender. It definitely buffs your foundation into your skin like a dream. And as you guys can see, it's dirty. I'm not a makeup artist, so my brushes can be dirty because I don't use them on anyone but me. But I really, really love the quality of this brush. The next one that I'm going to show you is a dual fiber brush and I use this one for my under eye concealer. Like when I put my concealer on, I spray some setting spray on it and then I help it to just blend out because I like to bring my concealer out past here. So this one is absolutely great. Now the package talks about how it like, you know, minimizes pores and all of that and it does what it is supposed to. I'm going to purchase the full size and I'm not going to use the Too Faced Poreless Primer anymore because the full size is $12.99. It's worth the money and um, I'm all about beauty on a budget. So I love this. Look forward to a full, full, full review on this product. I feel like I've talked forever. So um, that is my favorites for the month of April. I am so excited to share them with you guys. I am like really standing by every single favorite that I showed you this month. I really, really love them. If you guys have any questions about anything that I showed you, any you know and more information that I didn't go into depth about feel free to comment down below and also video response me your favorite videos I would like to see favorite videos are my favorites favorite videos and hauls are like my favorite things to watch because it's how I learn about new products and get information on how they work for you guys so that's it for now until next time stay beautiful peace YouTube